Hi everyone and welcome to Sunday School Online. It's incredible to think that we're actually doing this all over again. Um, almost a year ago we started doing Sunday School Live and it went really, really well and we're back starting it all over again. It's so great to be with you in your living rooms or your kitchens this morning doing Sunday School with you. And it might be really sad that we don't get to see each other in person but think how great it is that we can get to go to Sunday School and church in our pyjamas during this time. We've got to appreciate the good bits as well. Over the next few weeks at Sunday School Online, we'll be looking at the six W's of prayer. Who, what, when, where, why and how. So that we can learn all about prayer and we can then put it and practice it in every day of our lives. So let's get started. Our first word is who. Who can pray? Well, of course, everyone can pray. And that's the main thing that I want you to take away from Sunday school this morning, is we all can pray to God, no matter who we are. Jesus loved talking to people. He loved reaching out to people. He loved speaking to people that nobody else would think to speak to. He appreciated and loved them. He talked to a person with leprosy. He talked to a woman. He talked to a lady called, um, who was at the well. Remember that story from other times in Sunday school? A very famous story in the Bible. This lady who um, was completely pushed away from society because of what she did and her reputation. And nobody liked her. But Jesus still took the time to talk to her because he talked to anyone. And anyone can talk to Jesus. It really is that simple. We all can take the time in the day to speak to Jesus, to thank him for what he has done for us and to thank him for looking after us during this time. So anyone can talk to God. It's really that simple. And anyone can come to know him as, he, as their saviour and friend, no matter who you are. He also loves children. It doesn't matter what age you are or how good you are spe at speaking or how good you are at putting sentences together. It doesn't matter. God loves children too. And he loves old people and everybody in between. But it, particularly in the Bible, in Matthew chapter 19, verses 13, he says, The little children were brought to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and pray for them. But the disciples rebuked those who brought them. That means they thought this was a bit silly and didn't like it. Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. When he had placed his hands on them, he went on from there. Jesus loved to spend time with children. He loved to pray for them. And so you children too can pray to God and speak to him about everything that's going on in, during your day because he loves to speak with you and you should love to speak with him as well. Even at this time in the Bible, lots of people didn't like um, how Jesus spoke to people that they thought he shouldn't have been speaking to, but he did it anyway because he loves everyone and he wants to talk to everyone and everyone should be able to speak to him. And over the next few weeks, we'll find out more and more about how we can pray and what it's all about um, over the next few weeks in little short videos like this one. There'll also be a craft and there'll also be a quiz um, on general uh, Bible questions as well as what we have been talking about in the story. You'll see all um, that you need to know in the comments below. It isn't live because I'm at university, um, but we will announce the winner of the quiz next week at Sunday School Online. It's been great chatting to you boys and girls, and I just want you to be really encouraged this week that you can spend some time praying to God, because no matter who you are, God always listens to your prayers. Our memory verse this week is a little snippet from our story. Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. I want you to really challenge yourself this week and see if you can remember the memory verse for next week. It's a short one so, and it's quite easy to learn. How about we play some of those games that we learned how to do last lockdown during Sunday School Live. You could uh, write a letter on each page or a sticky note and then try and rejamble it all together. You could put a word on a balloon and pop the balloons. Um, or you could try um, reading it and covering your eyes and seeing if you can read it again. 
And there's lots of different ways we can learn to re uh, remember our memory verses. So have a go and see if you can challenge yourself to remember the memory verse for next week. Remember, it's Matthew chapter 19 verses 14 and the link will be below as well. Thanks everyone so much for tuning in and I'll see you all next week.